I'm not crazy, I promise. Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft LAN Party. Yeah, this, this is not a sign of insanity. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five full chunks up to about the bottom of the uh, ocean. And then I started digging out another chunk off to the side. And if I go very far farther this way, I think I can get one more chunk. But if I go very much farther this way, I run into warm ocean again. So we're kind of at a corner of the island here. Right? This is... This is kind of the corner of the island. Bloop. So I'll be able to take out this this chunk. And this chunk can go back one. And I probably can go back another one that way. And then I can move over here and start to do the side over here. And oh look, my nether fungus place. Yeah, so anyway. Not not getting a whole lot accomplished here. But, I've collected some stuff. Ooh, lots of wood. I've got some shroom lights. It's exciting. Um, and generating bone meal. And more of this warp block stuff, which, okay. Maybe I fill up the chest, I don't know. Um, but. And just keep growing the stuff and then cutting it down and collecting the shroom lights and making more bone meal. Because I use some of the bone meal to grow all this stuff. Works out. Um, so. Today. I want to take. Oh, I got a bunch of string in there. Bows. Oh, so I can make uh, dispensers. Lovely. So I'm going to grab some of this stuff. Let's grab some of this warp stem. Yeah, let's uh, let's just add a bunch there. And then I was, you know, we, we made some of the various wood filaments. Warp stem variants stuff. Don't know that I need it yet. But I plan to do some uh, some experimenting with this stuff, so we'll take some of that. And then grab some shroom lights, just for good measure. And then while we're at it, <clears throat> do I have just 32 spruce logs, some chests. Oh, look, I have more scaffolding. That could come in handy. Yeah, I've got some stuff in here I don't really need. And then I've got... So let's throw this stuff in here. And... I don't know what else... What else might I need? Oh, I can bring some stone. Bring some, some stone bricks and stuff like that. I've got all kinds of stone types. Where's the tail end of the stone stuff? Is it over here? So maybe consider labeling these uh, chests, because it's a pretty it's a pretty chaotic chest monster right now. Oh, look at that! So let's bring let's bring a few stacks of this. Yeah. I got torches. Okay, so this. I'm going to top off my scaffold. And I have some stone bricks in my pocket anyway. Now, I'm thinking. Night vision might be a useful thing. Um. 
And I have I have all the stuff I need to make night fishing potions, right? I've got mushrooms and sugar, uh, spider eyes. Got some spider eyes here. But I have like hundreds of spider eyes, thousands of spider eyes at the string farm. But I only really need one at the moment. Sugar. Let's go. Uh, let's go wander over. Let's go back to the winter chalet. Bid farewell to this place with the time being. And see if we can craft up some fermented spider eyes. And then head over to my potion brewing table. And make some night vision potions. I've got golden uh, carrots in my pocket. Oh, you know what? I've got awkward potions loaded in here. So. Oh, and I don't even need the fermented spider eyes. Duh. Okay, so. I think. If I put a golden carrot in here. I will get my night vision potions, right? And then if I redstone it, I get to extend it. While we're at it, let's grab a little bit of another wart. Just one piece. Uh, night vision. Extend it, please. Duh. No, 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 no. Don't want to do that. Extend it, please. Goodness gracious. Mental spider eye. You go there. So if I did that, I would get invisibility, which... Not going to be helpful for what I'm trying to do, but could be helpful in the future. Mm. Eight minute night vision. Nice. Mm. What I'm thinking of doing is starting to put in the plan into motion to get myself a good high efficiency village or trading hall. Still not 100% certain where I'm going to put it. Uh, but. I think I might put it somewhere over here. Alright, so if we go over here. See, I've got all these villagers here. What I'm thinking is. And they're ready to extract. I've got a, there's a bunch of them in there, and they're all unemployed. And I think I just level out this ground here a little bit. And uh, just start building villager trading. Villager trading stalls. And then I can move them if I want. It doesn't have to be permanent. I don't have to make it perfect right off the bat. So I'm going to drop in right, uh, right here. Ooh. Oh, hello, Mr. Rabbit. Let me light this up a little bit, make this a little bit of a home base. <clears throat> if I need to, I can go hop in the boat and sail away. Back to the safety of the Mushroom Island. I'm going to build myself a little pillar here just to just so I can see this little makeshift uh, <clears throat> beacon so I can see it so I know where my boat is I know where to go home so I'm going to build a little zombie trap stupid bush I probably want a wood so I can make a little trap door arrangement here. And 
And I want to put a little roof on this so that when the zombies are like, oh, hi, I didn't see you there, um, they get trapped. the anvil. Yep. And we're going to name a couple name tags. So what I'm hoping to do is find myself a zombie and lure said zombie into my little trap. So get rid of that. Get dark. Sun's going down. Things should start spawning. I don't want to wander too far. There we go. I can see it in the dark. Oh, look. That's where I was harvesting sand from over there. Hi there. You might actually work. You want to come this way? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Um, I forgot to craft. Yeah. I forgot to craft uh, trap doors. Hello, sir. Would you like to help me in my experiment? I promise not to kill you. I kill you last. Glad they're not super fast. Oh, you can come too. Oh. And you're carrying something. Interesting. I did not make this hole deep enough. So let's uh, let's fix that. They can't get out. But. Oh, they make such creepy noises. And you're holding something, so you're not going to despawn. But I'm going to name tag you anyway. Skeleton. Okay, so I got two name tags here. About one for you and one for you. Hi. Okay. Very nice. So I'm going to go back over to the Mushroom Island. Now that that's sorted out, I need to go and collect some more stuff. I will need eventually. I will need some rails and mine carts and that. And I can probably build them with what I can build them with what I have, but. That's not really important right now. What's important right now is I get back over here and I start planning where I'm going to do this and I may need to do some terraforming, level some stuff and make some space. And I think I want to build the structures out of largely that warped fungus stuff. Because I think it goes well with the mycelium. And I said, I'm going to start building villager halls nearby here. And I want to bring over one of those zombies. At least one, if not both. And build a little villager infection and curing station. Okay, 
So this will all cover over mycelium. I got plenty of it in my pocket. And this is two levels up from where the villages are there. Okay. So I think I'll start building villager trading here. And again, it can be temporary. Uh, so I will need a bunch of things. I'll need golden apples. I'll need to muster all the gold I have for that. And I may, before long, need to build a gold farm. Yeah. Not looking forward to that one, but it could be done. <clears throat> so other tasks I, I have to do is go back to the nether and find myself a crimson warped forest and collect some uh, some resources from there, specifically the nylium. So I can build one of these and then I'll build that. And what I might do is, I think I, I think I mentioned this, if you checkerboard in the warped and the crimson nylium, you can grow both things on it. Might double the volume. These can get up around here. So if I put another floor in here, right, because that is... One, two, three blocks, three sub chunks tall. That's 32 blocks. I think this is, I don't think these will ever grow taller than this. So I could put in a floor here, cover it with, you know, I could do, say, the crimson nylium and do a, another layer up here of that. And then I can do a giant mushrooms above that. I could stack these things. And there's. Part of the uh, that was part of the intention of building this tall, so that I could just fit more things in here. Because these will never grow beyond a certain point. So there is that. I love with all the flying around I've done and whatnot. My my elytras are, are healed, presumably from the little bit of experience that I picked up here and there. Okay, so I'm gonna go, let's go repair stuff. Nothing's too damaged, but I like keeping it topped off. I need to worry about this bow. And that's probably the first villager I should try and cultivate is a Fletcher. Cause hey, it could be a really good source of emeralds. And B, you may be able to sell me enchanted bows that are interesting and worthwhile. All right, let's go. I'm going to go over to the XP farm, repair off my tools. I'll probably log off after that because I accomplished something there. And I need to make sure those husks are capable of infecting villagers. I'm pretty sure they are. They are just a form of zombie. But I should just double check. And if, if they can't, then I will need to find another zombie. Like they will, zombies will spawn in that area there, and they will in that fort in that jungle. So I can get a regular zombie, no problem. And then I need to build. Like an extension to that area where I have them trapped. So that I can zip a, zip them into mine cars, mine carts. And get them ready so I can transport them across the water and build a bridge and all that fun stuff. So that's gonna be that's gonna be tons of fun. Okay, we're all repaired up. And one shulker box I should build, I should throw the materials needed to make a stone slash cobblestone generator. <clears throat> the design I've built a couple of them, they're pretty handy. And if I just, I'm out somewhere and I need blocks, I can just build one. 
Okay, well, I think I'm going to end the stream there. Thank you for watching. I'll probably be back on a little tomorrow. And I don't know that any of this will make it in the episode, but I'll be releasing an episode today, and I'm trying to do them weekly now. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.